a very rainy Friday morning here. It's It's been raining pretty much all night, but the ground needs it. So it's still nice and warm outside. It's not, it's not too cold. It hasn't cooled down, but uh, we're getting this lovely, um, lovely rain for the flowers and the garden needs it. So how are we doing? Do let me know how's the weather where you are. You know, we have our little weather update every morning. I really do love it. I got a very special guest and this time she's not far away. She's in the room with me, actually. <laughs> she's on the other side of the table. So I will um, but I, I will bring her on just in a second. Right, so we're going to have this. Uh, she's got all the samples. I'm going to show it to you. But I, let's not call it she. <laughs> I mean, if you all know, we're talking about Brenda, our lovely Brenda. Um, and you all seen the beautiful bracelet she made with the bugle beads. So we messed around. Um, with bugle beads probably about four or five weeks ago in Creation mm. Station and she just really took it to the next level, our, our, our clever girl. Well, Mina is saying, good morning, rainy Lester and raining where Camille is as well. Come and remind me where you are. Um, good morning, Jitty, Mina, Cindy, but let, let me just bring on Brenda on and then we can all uh, chat together. So, um, hopefully... I had to switch all these cameras around this morning, so hopefully, fingers crossed, everything is going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Brenda. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> can you see them? Can you see on the iPad? Did it come up? No, it's not come up yet. No. Okay, so we might have to click on it to to see to get the feed. But never mind. I'll, I'll sort that for you just in a sec. So, um, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. It's so it's so different that you like you're in a room here yeah. with me and um, <laughs> um, the, and uh, uh, just this is the first time actually we did something like this mm -hmm. even like when Sarah was that then like if she would do a Facebook like I would just walk out of the room and leave her <laughs> to it but I'm not gonna walk out this time don't, no. don't worry um Kimberly saying good morning everybody's saying good morning morning everyone overcast in Preston a soggy Kent um good morning Brenda Mina is saying. Morning, good morning, Mina. Kitty, Brandon, everyone. Hi, Brenda, Lucy, saying good morning. Miserable Felix, though, Wendy, saying, and it's glad. So it must be overall the UK as well. Let me know if it's sunny where you are, or if you're watching outside of the UK, let us know. Where are you watching from and how is the weather where you are? Right, okay, we're going to quickly pop down to the mat, and while... The Brenda's going to show you the samples in real life. I'm going to go and um, there's actually somebody at the door. It's a postman. <laughs> the postman. Oh, no, and there gone. we go. Oh, he just probably just put the thing mm. through and knocked on the door and gone because now you don't need to sign, do you? So I'm going to turn you down to the mat so Brenda can show you, show you the lovely samples and then I'll very quickly will show you on the website what um, Simon put them, we have put them together. Don't forget, one little kit not just gonna make one bracelet because there is loads of bugle beads mm. both the three mil the six mil not six mil nine mil and uh size 11 seed beads so you're gonna make multiples of them right without any further ado let's pop down to the mat and i'm gonna go and freak a uh, brand screen so they can <laughs> at the moment they can see all the bracelets so talk us through about the bracelets right okay well we've, we've done six different colors um simon put them all together for us or rather kitty put them all together um, it's got this lovely um, lilac-y purple with um, like an aubergine, I think it is. And then you've got this gold and, the, and brown, the blue and silver, which is uh, one of my favourites. Another shade of um, gold with like a, a brown. Um, this one's more of an antique-y um, on the nine, uh, three mil bugles. And then another purple one, which is lovely. Don't look at the screen too much because mm. it will be 15 seconds behind <laughs> you. But um, just just to go, sort of give you a visual of what we are seeing. Mm. I love them. And, and I love how you put those those bugle beads together because the one I was trying to do, I only used the three mil and I was mm. trying to do this checker pattern and it kind of worked, but it didn't really work so much. But I think you just really just nailed it. With those bugle beads, you just really, really... Nailed it. Um, Ellen is saying, Ellie is saying, sorry, not Ellen. Ellie is saying, oh, wow. Um, Simo is saying, good morning. Let me just move this in so we can see everybody. Um, Lucy is saying, these are gorgeous. Good morning, Brenda here from a soggy Bedfordshire. Pauline is saying. Morning, everyone. 
Yeah. Oh, got my order for deep purple already. <laughs> Lisa, we have blue skies in Egbuckland. Um, hope it lasts, Joe's saying. Oh, <laughs> they look fantastic, beautiful colors. Natalie's saying these look stunning. Right, so I'm very, very quickly gonna pop you over to the website. Let me just move these windows about. Let's pop that down. Hold on. Ooh. Hold on. What's this doing? Mm. No, it doesn't want to. It, it just brought me up in, a, in another another window. It doesn't doesn't want me to. Oop, and now it's disappeared in the background. So um, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to fix that in a minute, but let's just pop over here then and then if we share it now, will it work? Absolutely. Cool. <laughs> Very <laughs> good. <laughs> right. So you know the drill by now, totallybeads.co.uk. You're going to go on to the website and I'm just going to come to the main screen. So categories, I'm going to come in from here, video tutorials, and you're going to go into, we got hundreds of them, over 300 tutorials, although I don't know, might be more, might be 400 now. I haven't counted them. Uh, we got loads, hundreds of tutorials on that. Going to go into the Bugle bead bracelet today, and there is our six little kits. I'm going to pop in here, so you get size 11 Tahoe, you get three millimeter Bugle beads, you get nine millimeter Bugle beads, you get five double clasp, and you just need to add thread and needle. So if you if you got thread and needle at home, I always like to put that separate because like a bobbin of thread will last us forever. Um, then you don't need that one. So you just pop that in your basket and that's, that's we got six different colors today. I love them all. I really do. I love the pattern what they make. Right, so let's go back down to our demo. There we go. And I'm gonna have to, <laughs> we got the thing behind it. Right, I'm gonna fix my stuff just in a second. So Brenda, you take it away, lovely. Okay, um, well, I'm gonna, dem if it's okay with the body, I'm probably gonna demonstrate this one. Um, I think that's a really good one because that's like a matte against the shiny. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just get my beads ready. Um. So I was going to do the blue and silver, but the silver won't show, I don't think will show up very well. Just get my thread, needle threaded. Oh, the needle threading, that's oh, always... Oh, yeah, <laughs> the dreaded needle thread. The thing is that, like, when you have to thread your needle and you have to you have thread your needle um, live, like, it doesn't yeah, want to go through. Exactly. Otherwise, when you're sitting at home, just like, oh, it goes straight through. But when you like people watching you, you like, no, it doesn't want to go through. No, exactly, yeah. And Camille is saying, I like your bracelet, Brenda. With this one. Yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you. Right, so I, I was just saying to Kitty, I can't work with a very long length of thread, I'm terrible. So I do have to join thread in. But um, right, to start off with, you take your toggle clasp, take one of the nine mil bugles, when I can see where I'm going, that's it, okay. One nine mil bugle, two three mils, and one seed bead and take it through your toggle clasp my hands are shaking so I do apologise oh you will be fine <laughs> through your toggle clasp and back through your seed bead like that okay and then pick up another two of the three mil bugles Oh, can you still see, yeah? Yep. And through the nine mil bugle. Like that. Okay. And then you can go through it again to reinforce it, but when you're doing the finishing off part of the bracelet, you get the opportunity when you're doing the, the seat beads at the top to go through the clasp again. But it's entirely up to you. Okay, so. I love when you start a bracelet, when you, you're putting like the clasp on straight away because you don't have to stop at the end and add, that, add them all in. Yeah, right, and then pick up another 9mm bugle and go through the one that you've just uh, done. 
like so. Okay, and then back down through the one you've just added. And try and keep them as close as possible together. Pick up a third bugle. Oops. And back down through the middle one. And then come back up through the one you've just added. So you've got three bugles sitting sort of side by side. And pick up two of the three mil. And bring them down close to the top of the nines and go through the very, very first of those two, three mil beads. And just, if they come away from the top, just slide them down like that. And then go through that one there. And again, try and keep them as close as possible together. Pick up another bugle and go down through the one you've just added and back up through, the, through that one, the third one, like that. We were talking about this yesterday, like what, what sort of stitch it is, and I'm saying it's leather stitch, but it's really like, it could be square stitch, it could be right angle weave. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? Because you're just stitching the bugles together. Yeah, so Leanne asked me the other day, I said I really don't know, you'll have to check with Kitty on that one. Right, take a fourth one and go through the third um, bugle again. And back down through the fourth one that you've just added. Do that again for the fifth um, bugle. back up through the one you just added. Smoffy is saying, which is, I think that's Dorothy, but can you just confirm it? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm forgetting names that you're doing very well, Brenda. <laughs> can see what you are doing really well. Okay. And then the last one is the sixth bead. Add that on. And back down through the sixth bead again. So you've got a line of six. Okay. Yep. Right. And what I try, I've turned it over, and then what I'll then do is, with the threads coming out at the bottom, go back through the nine mil bugle, and that will hold your three mils. Wow! Together. That looks really good. Yeah. And then come across through the three mil, the top three mil bugle. Again, I like to keep turning my work over, so you've got your thread coming out of there. Yeah. Okay. Add a nine mil bugle and go through the bottom of the three three mil. Natalie's saying you're making it look easy, Brenda. Very clearly explained <laughs> and demonstrated. Thank you. And up through the last of the nine mil bugles that you added on the previous section, like so and across the top again. Then he's saying, hope you have given Brenda some cream in her, in her coffee. Yes, um, I went actually, we got some milk, so we're fine now. <laughs> and then just to secure it again, you go up through the top of that nine mil bugle. So you've got your thread coming out at the top there. Okay, and basically it's just a repeat of that pattern. We'll do a little bit more, all the way down to the required length that you want. So. Add the bugle down through the one you just added. Add the third one. Find the hole in that bugle bead. Why is it you can never get the hole when you want it? Then he's saying really detailed, clear instructions. Thank okay. you very much, Brenda. All right, add the third one again. And go through the middle. And back up the one you've just added. And then we're back to adding the three mils again. I'll do another one for you. So two of the threes. I'm just saying you're doing brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. And back and through that first one again. 
it is such a repetitive pattern. It's um, but sometimes less is more. Sometimes yeah. you know you just need to like just something like that. You can just really sit there and enjoy yeah. it. But it makes because of the bugle beads they they make really yeah. a really nice pattern. Um, small feature was just saying, oh, the magic is revealed. I was thinking long bugles must have holes in them. <laughs> <laughs> But it's literally three bugles, uh, three nine mil bugles, and then you add six and repeat it all the way down. But just try and keep them as straight as you, you possibly can. I made, a, um, when I was first started making, I started pulling the thread a little bit too hard. And I'll be honest, I, I broke the thread a few times. So it, pulling it tight, but not too tight. I'm used to doing this a lot closer up, to be honest. And back through that one again. Okay. Ginny's saying, why you are making it look so easy, Brenda? <laughs> it is an easy pattern, you know. I don't do difficult, as you know. It's, it's not it's not about I think difficult or not difficult I think it's just how you look at certain mm -hmm. things and you just when you look at them with a different pair of eyes you're gonna come up with different variations and, mm. I, and, and this is why I love like crafts and I love like, like I love beadwork so much because there is so many different beads there is so many different colors there is so many different finishes yeah. there's so many different shapes there is so many different materials and you can really have your artistic streak coming out yeah. because like that's what we all have we're all creative we all have like an artistic streak in us yeah. and um come out and just play and then when you put different things together they really do look yeah they look fantastic yeah so and i've done that second section of the three mils and gone back up through the last of the previous section of the nine mil okay Secure it again, Turn, I've turned it over, go back through the top three mil, turn it over and then add another nine and back through the bottom one. So by doing that you're, they're, they're quite secure. Back through the last of the previous section nines, across the top again. And through that one and then we're ready to add the, the, another two bugle beads okay and you just carry on doing that and so, for as long as you uh, you know you need I find um, I've got a fairly standard size wrist so um, 16 if you want a fairly snug fit 17 or 18 if you want a, a loose fit of the of the nine mil bugle sections okay um, I'll show you another uh, a little bit more because you don't want to see me doing that bit all the time. She said, I'm going to do a blue Peter. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> I just hope the thread's not all um, jumbled up in it now. Oh, it will be all right. Yeah. Which it will be, oh, as no. it always, always is. All right. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, Diane is saying, could everyone please press like? Yeah, please, 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 please do press a like for Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, let me know when you're ready and I go back down in the okay. camera. Right. Um, can we sing? uses a lot of thread in this one. I, yes. Yes, it does because you're going round and round and round. Yeah. And, goes. And, I, and I do join. I have, to, I have to admit, I do join my thread because um, I can't work with long threads. I get in an absolute mess. Okay. So this one is, um, I've done 17 sections of the 9mm bugles. Yeah. And now I'm going to add the clasp on at the other end. So again, already got the bugle, the nine mil bugle. You want two, two of the threes, a seed bead, and go through the other end of the clasp, as we did on the first part. Go back through the seed bead, and another two of the three mils, and back up through that bugle bead there. Okay, and this is where we now you don't need any more of these. 
And this is where we start adding the seed beads, which have gone everywhere. There you go, hang on. Okay. So you need three seed beads. Two, three. And then you just go through that very top three mil bead, like that. And pull the thread. <laughs> what are you saying? They're like, they're, they feel like the bracelet, the one on your wrist. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. That's again, it's a very simple make, you know. Now going through the, the that one, and you see that's how you get your top trim on the. It looks really, really good. Yeah. And if you if your bugles are, you know, the, the bugles on the previous bit are a little bit spaced out. By adding those seed beads and going through, you can actually pull it together. Tighten it up. Yeah, yeah. And I think, like, you know, virtually what you're doing there is just covering up the end of the bugle. Yeah, that's exactly it, yeah. <laughs> Camry is saying, another tutorial then, Brenda? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> that one is really simple, though, honestly. So. Yeah, but sometimes, like, you don't, don't say it's simple because, like, mm. would, would it... Like bake a Victoria sponge be simple. Well, like well, you haven't seen my Victoria sponges. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, for some people they they would mm. just do one. Like you know they don't even think about it. They would just do yeah. one. For me, I would probably stress out of it like for two hours. <laughs> have, yeah. I, have I got the right ingredients? Yeah. And, and then like, have I, did I mix it right? Do I yeah. need to mix it to the right or do I mix it to the left? So, I think it's just like what you know. Yeah. And they're not. With this one, with the, the one I'm wearing, it, I, first of all, I did it with two beads um, out, um, going up to the pearls, and it didn't look quite look too close. Then I changed it and did three. Then I had to change the size of the pearls to get it to sit right. But um, well, I think it's come out quite nice, actually. The joys of playing around with beads. Yeah, you, you know who to blame for that, don't we? <laughs> Can we just think, might be simple for you both. I think it's great. Oh, Gloria saying, come back again to show us how to make the one on your wrist. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> Cindy is saying, I made my first Russian spiral on Saturday. It had 15 crystals each on my son's mine and Kurt's birthstone for the 15 years we were a family. And I put it on a chain and I had it on Sunday. Oh, bless you. Send oh, me, put, well done. Send, either send me a picture or messenger or put a picture into one of the groups. I do both, actually. Which Russian but, spiral did you do? Which one did you do? What, what version did you do? So you mm. should have added crystals on there. Then it must have been mm, number two or number four. Mm. Do let us know. Um, I love seeing other people's works and what they do with it. So do, do send me a picture. I love Russian Spiral. Russian Spiral is one of my favourite stitches as yeah. well. Yeah, Russian Spiral Run is my favourite. That sounds beautiful, Cindy, and very fitting, Smuffy saying. I'm, I'm sure Smuffy is Dorothy. I'm sure her name is Dorothy. If, mm. if, if, if it's not, do let me know. <laughs> because I'm just like, I'm guessing. I'm so bad with names. Um, you got a pair of pliers, Diane? Kitty. I'm okay. just going to pull my needle through. Yeah, sure. My hands are quite slippery. There you are, just hand it to the table. Thank you very much, thank you. I like to use, when I'm pulling my needles through one of those, because then it doesn't like give any, um, the nylon jewel pliers, they don't put any stress on mm. the needle itself and it's less likely to bend it. Yeah, actually I think I've just broken my bead, but never mind. Um, could be where, I, where I, I joined in my thread and it was just a little bit on the thicker side. So if you do, that does happen I, um, or you from a struggle, perhaps you use a thinner needle. So we'll just carry on anyway with that one. Yeah, you could always go down to a size 11 or yeah. size 12 yep. needle. Yep. Yep. Um, right, yeah. But especially when you're, you're going through and you're, you're strengthening the clasp sometimes you could do with a, a slightly thinner needle. So I've got all sorts of needles, mm. like, I use size 10 the most, but um, I do go down to 11 and 10, and I think we have mm. got like a little mixture of tube 
the color I want, which is the black one is size 10, the turquoise one is size 11, and the red one is size 12. And yeah. I've always got, I don't know where it's a little tube at the moment. It's like I always got it, but I don't know where it is right now. Mm. But um, it's somewhere here on one of the trays. Um, I always have that because if They're I great, just need actually. to go down one one size, I just go down. Yeah, it is great having the other size needles to hand. That's it. Yeah. Actually, it's saying very clear instructions. The sun has come out. Loving watching others bead. Oh well, we could do it a bit of a sun. Yeah, here please as well. send the sun here. But we do need, do need the rain as well. We yeah. Did, like the garden was like really, really dry. Well, and I've I have got maybe six, eight strawberry plants, and mm. they are coming like out with strawberries at the moment. So they really need the, uh, mm. the rain. We used to have more. We used to have like two really big patches. But um, maybe next year I sort the garden out and, mm. and have a big strawberry patch again. I used to love it, like just to go out and. Just pick the strawberries. And oh, you can't beat fresh strawberries growing in your garden. No. Right, coming to the end now, the very last section of the bugles. So I've got the three seed bees, and what I'll do is then I'll, I'll go across those and through the ones that are near the clasp and back up through that seed bead. Okay, go through the clasp and back down the seed bead. So you're strengthening it again and then down through the other two bugles okay and then you'll come out there and then we just repeat the last bit that we did on the other side on the other side yeah I think probably if you do this, it might be better if you do do um, um, use a, perhaps a slightly thinner needle. Then you won't you can avoid any problems with the going through that top bugle bugles, yeah. Because you go through that bugle quite a few times as you stitch yeah. down and up, you stitch the next yeah. one. Alice Singh, all the place come with to try and make these, Brenda. Thank you so much for the tutorial. And actually, uh, I'm, I'm so bad, I forgot the best bit. Like the best, best bit. Brenda actually made us instructions so that we'll be coming out with your kids. She um, She's photographed all the steps, bless her. And um, yeah, she, 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 she's even made us instructions. She, she's just our little superstar. <laughs> that was fun doing it. And I'll tell you what, I've got the... The greatest appreciation now for how much how much time it takes Kitty to um, put PDFs together because that took me ages and ages to do. I think, but it's only because of the first one. So when yeah. you like it, every, anything, like anything you learn in life, the first one always takes yeah. ages, and then the second one is just a little bit less. And then, yeah. like when I was like yesterday, I was doing the bead club instructions, and that was like four pages. Mm. And like when I first started to do instructions, I I was I, I was able to do like maybe one one and a half page a day. And then as like the, the weeks and months and years gone past, I was able to do a couple of pages a day. And then it went up to three pages a day. And then all of a sudden it's like, it's your work, you, you become, obviously there is different circumstances. Like sometimes when you um, they have to draw out more or do different bits of pieces, depending on the, on the project we do as well. But like sometimes I can do, like in a couple of hours, I can do a page. Mm. So I think the more you practice, the more you do anything, the better and quicker you're going to get at it. Mm. Oh, instruction writing is a skill it's all right. Oh, Lucy's saying, Brenda, you're amazing. <laughs> I think Lucy does a fabulous job, to be fair. Oh, I think we are so lucky because we got so many lovely people in our community here. Mm. I, I can't, I, I almost said ladies, but we don't just have ladies, we have, we have some gentlemen as well. So we get so many lovely people in our community and I think, I, lo I really do love it. And I think that's that's all about that we all, what we all love, we all love crafting, we all love beading and, and it's just a really, I don't know, it brings us together. Yeah. 
especially in this last year that we've all had. Oh, definitely. It's been a, a lifeline for so many people. Oh, Pauline just said that I have learned such a lot in the last year and have tried so many projects may give this one a go may, may give this one a try too yeah i think a lot of people like learned a lot of things last year so i think it's unfortunate like the circumstances we had last year but in the same time like I always try to look at the positive with anything like we, we we were torn apart like families were torn apart but then we were brought back together because i met so many lovely people and i made so many lovely friends online but i would have never met them mm. if we weren't in the show that oh we have to do the lives and then we have to like and, and we were just like we are just like hanging out together really and, and doing things online but um yeah so i, I think yes for for it, it was like a for the pandemic it was like an awful awful year but i think for a lot of people found a lot of positives as mm. well and they learned how to use computers they learned how to use zoom they learned how to do a lot of things online what they did yeah. before and all of a sudden like before this if you were like i don't know if your yoga was your thing there may have been a one yoga class in your village or, or town wherever you are but now you can attend hundreds of them because like online they're they are in your living room they come straight to you mm. when he's saying she have learned a lot last year as well um lauren is asking question brenda would there be a room for a bugle bead between the three sections on the edge to give a straight edge so instead of, in, Lorna, do you mean instead of adding the seed beads and just adding, oh no, no, I think what she means, or, or going back around into the seed beads and can you add a bugle, be, like a three millimeter bugle bead in between the seed beads or add more seed beads, I guess. I suppose you could. Yeah. Um, well, give it a try. That's all yeah. you can do. Um, you know, I mean... It's not set in stone that you do it this way. You know, if you can't find another way of doing it, brilliant. We'd love to see it. OK, so I've come to the end of the second section. Just going to go up through the um, beads that are going up to the clasp and do exactly what we did last time, through the seed, the bugles, the seed bead, back through the clasp. Oh, I think you like this. that's good because you're reinforcing the yeah. clasp so many times. Yep. And you can do that as many times as you really, you can get your needle through. And if you're using a thinner needle, you probably add, do it quite a few times. So through there. Back through the bugle. So Brenda, can you just like push your hands yeah. forward a bit? That's it, lovely, okay. thank you. Okay. We always do that. I do that yeah. as well. Like as you bead, your, your hands is always coming closer so to you yeah, and closer you... to you and closer to you and closer to you. <laughs> Because I'm used to beading close up. And then basically, I'm, that's it, finished. And you're just really just going to tie your beads off. So I'll go back down through the middle bugle, possibly. And, and you've got a little tiny threads where you've gone across. And you can tie your thread off with a half hitch knot like that through there. And then back down through another bugle. As many times, you know, go up and down a couple of times. And you know it's secure. And that is basically it. Oh, Bernie, you, thank you, you so tired. much. Thank you so much for the kind words. Bernie Singh, you brought us all together, gave us structure and focus mm. when we needed it, Kitty. Uh, my lifeline for sure. Thank you, Kitty, for, and everyone. But th mm. Thank you, Sarah, because Sa Sarah is a part of it, and I'm, I'm hoping mm. that someday she will be back. But at the moment, she's still just really, really busy. She's in, uh, she's in the beat club. And thank you, everyone, because like it, it wasn't just me. I think like this was just as good for me as well mm -hmm. because it's given me structure as well mm -hmm. and like something to look forward to every day. Really. <laughs> well, I see. I think it was the looking forward to ten o'clock every morning, cup of coffee and watch someone bead and learn something. It was great. So that's it, basically. I mean, I, I apologise on that one. I I broke the bu top bugle, oh, but I you know. Use a thinner needle if you find it more difficult. And um, yeah, it's, it's a lovely one think, to do. I think you could go back and like just add another bugle in it. Like you could, mm. you could, you could kind of like a little bit troubleshoot it so you wouldn't have yeah. to take it all apart. Yeah. So can we have a look at all the different colours again? Can you yep. just pop it on your mat? Sure, yep. Oh, 
I love them. I really, they really I, are lovely colours. I, I, it's not just even the colours. Mm -hmm. I, I just love the, like mm. what the beauty, the bugles give you that love the pattern of them. Because yeah. like the seed beads, we're so used to beading in the rounds around mm. things. And like, you know, that they, they be creating curves as sort of speak. Like, I mean, you can do like POT stitch or something like that when the bead's going to sit like exactly the same yeah. way. But like... They, they always look a little bit more mm. roundy when you use seed beads and with the bugles they just look straight yeah i think like, they're underused aren't they to oh be honest. absolutely yeah the other thing with this is i mean i've obviously i've demonstrated today where i've sewn direct onto the clasp um but i know the very tiny um four mil um jump ring the closed ones are hard to get hold of if you can get hold of a closed jump ring yeah then you can attach your clasps later on later on onto that and also you can interchange your clasps as well so obviously if you've perhaps if you've made the base of it on the short side and you realize it, you, you could probably you know um extend the the number of jump rings onto your clasp make it a little bit longer Ali's asking is it possible to get more matte colors in nine meter bugles in um unfortunately we got what we got because the wholesaler we buy, buy we bought the bugles from and buy them they dropped the nine millimeter bugles they no longer stock them they only stock three mils now so we do buy straight from Toho itself as well but that's not going to be until later on this year when mm. we're going to place an order but i will get more rain definitely but the twisted ones are they nine mil the twisted one are nine mil as well, but the twisted mm. ones they are a little bit um, fatter. Oh right, yeah. So you can you can do with the, with the twisted one as well, mm. but um, you're probably going to need four seed beads at the top, not three. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, they can give them a go. They're, just try try them, you know. Ginny's saying thank you, Brenda, and well done. A great demo needed to go. <laughs> Herb company saying out of the day. Um, Smart saying between the beading lives and another live I watched for drawing, I really enjoyed lockdown. If, if it wasn't for the illness itself, of course. I think like you know, it's it's. We were talking about this in the beat club last night. If lives give you lemons, you make lemonade, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Julie's saying thank you, Brenda. Welcome. Thank you. Right. Okay. So that's that's it from us today. I need to go and we need to go and get ready. Actually, Brenda is going to stay and we're going to do the bead club here. I need to spin the cameras around and um, <laughs> we're going to have so much fun. So what we're doing in a bead club today, I'm going to show you because I really do love how this, this one turned out. We're doing a bracelet. We did a toggle class for a couple of weeks ago and we're doing the bracelet to match it just like a little slanted flat selene spiral i really i really do love it and i, I have got a couple of other colors going on it's very here. pretty isn't it it's very pretty yeah. like i i when i first this is actually a classical example and i was talking to this about the ladies last night so when i first started i started with a stitch and i just added a clasp onto the end of it i don't know where my sample gonna would have show you but then i thought like it really looks nice but between looking nice and looking really nice was the beaded toggle class mm. so you're gonna need to you're gonna need to play more around with beaded toggle class and do all sorts of different things with it i think <laughs> that, that will be that will never know that will be my new thing um everybody's saying thank you thank you brenda welcome lovely tutorials they all want you back so we're gonna have to talk <laughs> in the background um thank you both ladies and i love all the in in interactions have fun with the bead club a community seeing um, please join if you haven't it's yeah. fabulous we always have so much fun yeah oh debbie's saying i hadn't spotted you were both in your office <laughs> 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 lovely that you can both see each other yeah so yeah actually because she's got but i, I got the cupboards behind me and brenda's got the windows behind yeah. me but i used to be a, a few months ago yeah. i was on that side oh yeah lucy's saying come and join us in the beat club and then she just popped mm. the link in yeah do check it out as well mm. you can you can just come in for one lesson or you can come in and like sort of sign up monthly and then that, that guarantees your place every single class we do a zoom class every single week Oh, Ruth is saying join the beat club, everybody. <laughs> right, okay, so um, don't forget tomorrow night, creation. Oops, oh, what's happening with my, my picture? is going on. Creation station tomorrow night. Don't forget, oh, I'm, not, I'm not doing, I should have, I should, but I always forget to do, always forget to lock the screen, and then these, these things just start to move around. So, creation station tomorrow night at 7 pm on my YouTube. I will give you the link. 
and I will um, I will probably pop one just before then just to remind you um, do come in we are doing more with the Ferris wheel <laughs> as we named the ad um, it's a hematite and crystal bundle we only scratched the first surface of it because last time we only used the sky and I still got a whole bundle of the earth to use so tomorrow night 7 p.m. or come with sink coffee. Oh, thank you. There we go. That's the, uh, it's only got like one sip in it now left, so I'm gonna have to go make another one tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Don't forget to join me. We're gonna have so much fun. I do draw the line at 10 p.m., but um, we're just gonna keep on going and we see we, we see what we can create. Right, everybody, take care. Have a lovely day, and we'll see you. I see you tomorrow night. Otherwise, back on my